We have learned how to send push messages that contain a message body and a message title. When push message notification arrives, both message body and message title are presented to the user and this kind of push messages are also known as user visible notifications. But there is another kind of push message which is also called as silent push message, which when received by our mobile application is not displayed to user. When silent push message arrives, user is not aware of this push notification and they do not see the content of this push message on their device screen. So silent push messages are mainly used to partially awake our mobile application even when it's completely closed and let it perform some business logic or download some content from the internet. For example, you can send silent push message whenever your mobile application has some content available for user and that this content is better to be prefetched from the server side so that when user starts a mobile application the next time their content is already available for them and this also improves user experience of your application very much. So how do we receive silent push notifications? Earlier I added this method application did receive remote notification but apparently this function has been deprecated if i hold command button and click on this function and jump to its definition it says that it is deprecated and we should use application did receive notification fetch completion handler if we want to handle silent remote notifications so let me go to back to my app delegate and add this function instead of this one so here is a new function and it's called application did receive remote notification and it will be triggered when silent push notification arrives. To print entire message of silent push notification, we can just print user info object and preview its content. But this silent push notification can contain some data with that. It can contain key value pairs and we can read those key value pairs from user info object. For example, let me read article ID from user info object. So let's assume that we have received silent push notification which contains article ID that we can download. And to read that article ID, I simply refer to user notification object and read article ID. And then I can do something with that article ID, like for example, download it from my server, store it, and let user read that article when they start mobile application the next time. Because we have application object available to us in this function, we can also perform some business logic depending on the mobile application state when push notification arrives. For example, let me paste a little code snippet here. We can uh, read the application state and then use switch statement or if else statement and then determine if a mobile application was active when this push notification arrived, then we can do something like, for example, display a notification to user that a new content has arrived and if they want to read it, they will need to go to a certain page. And if mobile application was in another state, like inactive or in background, you can view the available states by going to UI application state and hit dot and then we have active background state and inactive state so for each of these states you can do some custom business logic so in this very little example i will use your application active state if my mobile application is in foreground and is active i will print this line just for myself to see that it is working and for all other states i will print this line and then we call completion handler with the background fetch result as new data and this is it let's run this application and send it a silent push message and see how it works